There once was a boy who loved magic, but he didn't believe in it. He thought magic was simply a matter of tricks that could be mastered. Each day, his little sister waited for him at the bottom of the rickety attic stairs, begging to be his magician's assistant. She believed in magic, which annoyed her brother. But the boy would simply climb down the stairs, brush past his sister, walk straight to his room, and slam the door. She begged and begged for him to teach her magic. One day, the boy finally agreed. He walked toward his bedroom. His sister followed behind, excited. But then, he slammed the door in her face. Ha ha ha, I made you disappear, he said through the door. The little girl gave up on her brother and found company with the old blind woman across the street, who surprisingly had some magic tricks of her own. Every afternoon, she would teach the little girl, until one day, she mysteriously disappeared, leaving behind a magician's box with a note for the girl that says, a powerful trick that will even impress non-believers. She rushed home to the attic to tell her brother, interrupting his concentration. He scolded her, but was intrigued and followed her to the magician's box. The girl told her brother she would allow him to use it, but only if he let her be in his act. The boy reluctantly agreed. As the children lifted the box, they noticed a dusty portrait of the blind woman in her youth, wearing a black top hat, the kind a magician wears. The portrait stared at the children with glowing eyes. The whole way home, the boy couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. The siblings set the magician's box down in their backyard. The girl, excited to finally do magic with her brother, climbs into the box. Still annoyed, the boy shuts the lid with the same force he used to slam his bedroom door the day he pretended to teach his sister a trick. I wish she would actually disappear. And in the dark part of his heart, he meant it. He counted to three, then opened the box. It was empty. Somehow, on her very first try, his sister had succeeded in hiding herself in the box. Why hadn't she revealed herself? He tried the trick again, and again, but the box remained empty. The boy called out to his sister, where was she? The boy spent the entire afternoon searching the house for his sister. She was nowhere to be found. Helpless, the boy ran across the street to the old blind woman's house. The windows were dark, except for the glowing eyes in the portrait. He ran back home, feeling again like he was being watched the entire way. The magician's box was still empty, its lid swinging open and shut with the wind. Night fell, faded into day and back into night, again and again. The boy had no idea how long it had been since he made his little sister disappear. Or was he the one who had disappeared? Finally, the boy laid the magician's box on the ground and climbed into it. He was so tired, but he'd stay awake to keep watch in case his little sister were to appear. The boy's eyes drooped shut. Darkness. One! Screeched his little sister's voice. The boy gasped. His eyes shot open. After a moment, the lid to the box opened. Ta-da! sang the little girl, presenting her brother in the box. The boy looked around the backyard. It was summer again. It was almost dusk. Dazed, the boy begged his sister for an explanation. Where'd she gone? Where'd he gone? What happened? You're not the only magician around here, his sister said, as she bowed deeply to an imaginary audience. Her eyes 